Hey guys, John Grimsmo here. So we're back at Niagara Precision, checking out our titanium Emerson handles. And uh, today they're doing the second operation, the soft jaws, so that they can face and drill and all that stuff on the top of the part. So we'll go inside and check out what they're up to. A little bit of a this one here. Part, dug in a little bit there. Yeah, bowed up a little bit. I think you got that solved, right? Yeah. yeah. I left these like this for now, in case okay. you wanted some pictures. It comes off this fixture. Uh, so I got a set in here ready to run right now. It's actually going to do both the flip side and the display side. And then that's the program I've added another function. Once I run this set through, right, you want a certain chip or two. Yeah, yeah. And that's about as good as I can get it. Um, they do lap well. You can lap them on the Emery cloth. And they come out. Okay. I lapped that one. That one's just raw stock. Yeah. Nearly finished part. Looking awesome. Surface finish on the front looks pretty good. Uh, a bit of maybe sanding or a scotch bread wheel or something will uh, polish that up beautifully. So this is the surface finish of the titanium when it comes raw and then facing it off turns it nice and pretty like that. They're just taking maybe five thou off the surface just to make it look nice and shiny and take an anodized color really really well. Yeah, every time on that. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got the height right. Tiniest bit of a, a lip. Tiny, yeah. Tiniest. Yeah. But I can't tell which direction it is. It's from the top or from the bottom? I think. It feels like it's from both. Well, that's all that is is comp. The diameter of the cutter. Yeah. Programmed in the software. Yeah. So it needs to come out from a bow. Yeah. Just to take that edge off there okay. before I put it in, just in case there's a sharp edge. So that it, it sits in the jaw. Exactly. I don't want it to pick up on me. Yeah, it makes sense. So it, it's minimal. It's like half a thou. Yeah. I gotta tweak that too. Hey, you kinda wanna break that bottom edge anyway. Yeah. Um, whether I do it by hand or. Yeah. Although, like I said, there's steel liners that go yeah. here. So people aren't really gonna be touching that much. But. I gotta definitely tweak that a little bit. Cool. The holes not the. Uh, there was oh, a. Yeah, they bendy, hey? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> what I mean about taking the skin off. I know. Um, see this? See how much air there is in between? That's just the nature of this sheet. It's it's warped. Yeah. If you don't take the skin off both sides, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, there was, according to the CAD model, a discrepancy of three thou between the pitch of these two holes oh yeah from one side to the other but you hold them up they line up pretty good okay well these these two get bolted through with a pivot yep. and this is just a lanyard hole yep. so they don't line up that but that's interesting that they're a little bit off i'll have to look into that like three thou you won't notice by eye no but if it's something that yeah, you know, you're trying if, to assemble. If there's a pin going through two sides, yeah. You might want a little bit of yeah, yeah. Play in between. It's right? not, it's not that critical. Like for my custom knife that I'm designing, I do ream them for quarter, and uh, it just makes everything fit nice. Yeah. But these are production. You want a little bit of variation, right? Since I'm not designing everything. Yeah. You need, you need to make sure it'll fit everybody, or else you get complaints. And <laughs> so yeah, that's good. Although it's really um really popular in the knife world to get what they call a stone wash finish. It's got all these specks and dents and everything into it. And I'm still trying to get that with my tumble, but I can't, can't figure it out. Bigger stones. Yeah, I just got some 5 8 triangle pyramid shaped stones yep. from the place down the street. And uh, I ran it all night. Haven't looked at it this morning yet. But... Yeah, that's the thing with a tumbler. You gotta run it for a while. Yeah. I've been having problems with that for months. Trying to do the backside first, yep. and then flip it over and then drill the holes, yep. and nothing lines up ever. Um, and Mike suggested do the, the nested uh, the pocket first and drill the holes from the back, yep. and then mount it in a soft jaw, which is what I built yesterday, and then do your counter sinks and all the, everything and corner out from the top. Yep. So that's what I'm going to do, and then maybe by then I can finally uh, finish the design and the, the, the tolerances and everything. Fits. Yep. So I can't get it to fit. <laughs> yeah, I can't see that. That's a very popular. I've already got 25 people lined up for aluminum ones. And probably five people for titanium ones. So. Cool. Yeah. All right. So that was a lot of fun. I learned a lot talking to Len the Machinist and they let me steal the set so I can take home and play with surface finishes and maybe try to tumble them or anodize them or whatever. I'll do videos of that in the next few days and um, should be ready in a few days for the whole batch and then we'll start selling them. So thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye.